Right, we're looking at LXL Core uh, Core Two uh, of summer 2015, May the 20th, 2015, Part One, because it won't all fit on one video. So here we go. Right, first question: Binomial expansion. Okay, so uh, it's two. It's there's two minus x over four to the power ten. Not particularly nice one, has to be said. But there you go. Uh, remember, we're doing n factorial over n minus sorry n minus r factorial r factorial okay so first term is just going to be 2 to the power of 10 all right which you can do on your calculator nice and easy second term is going to be 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 all right all over 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, alright, times 1, alright, so the n minus r is uh, uh, 10 minus 1 and r is 1 there, okay, times 2 to the power 9 times n over 4 to the power 1, alright, remember the powers have got to add up to make 1, and the next term will be, and I'm not going to do it all, 10 factorial, which is 10 times 9 times 8 times 7, over 8 factorial, 2 factorial times uh, 2 to the power 8 times n over 4 to the power 2. All right, so there you go. Remember the powers add up to make 10 all the time. Question 2. Right, find the equation of the circle for part A. Now it says... Uh, a circle with centre point 2 minus 1 passes through the point 4 minus 5. So we've got to find the radius, and we find the radius using Pythagoras. All right, so Pythagoras find the difference in the x coordinates, which is 2 squared, difference in the y coordinates, which is 4 squared, and that equals root 20. All right, uh, and then we put it in the formula, so x, um, where's the centre, x minus 2. 2 all squared plus y plus 1 all squared equals r squared. Well, that's 20. There you go. Now, for part b, it says form an equation, uh, for, sorry, find an equation of the tangent to the circle c at the point a, giving your answer in the form a, x plus b, y, plus b, blah, 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 blah. Right, so what we need to do is find the um, the gradient of the radius, grad of radius, all right, which is going, which we're going to uh, find as minus four over two, difference in y over difference in x. So that's minus two. So therefore, the gradient of the tangent is at ninety degrees. So that gradient of tangent, therefore, equals a half. Stick everything into the y minus y uh, one equals m brackets x uh, minus x1. All right, remember, if you've got any fractions, which you have, you've got a fraction here, haven't you? All right, multiply through. We don't want any fractions in the final answer. Right, we're looking at a function now. Uh, so, and it says that given that when f of x is divided by x plus 1, the remainder is 45. So for a, we're going to uh, substitute x for minus 1, and so we're going to do 6 times minus 1 cubed, we're going to do 3 times minus 1 squared, we're going to do a times minus 1, and we're going to do plus b, and we're going to make that all equal to 45, and we're going to find, uh, well it tells us what the answer should be, so when we rearrange we get that, so, so part b, so given that uh, 2 uh, x plus 1 is a factor of f of x, so when we put f of minus a half in there, um, we should get a 0, okay, so do exactly the same thing, instead of minus 1, you put in minus a half, make that equal to 0, uh, you will find um, the values of a and b, and it says, does it say, no, it doesn't say factorise fully yet, well, we find that a equals uh, minus 96, what a lovely number, and b equals uh, minus 48, I believe. Um, when we put that into there, we should get 
uh, where is it? Uh, 6x cubed plus 3x squared um, minus 96x uh, plus, uh, sorry, minus 48. I do apologise. There you go. Right, now we need to factorise that. We already know that 2x plus 1 is a factor. So 2x plus 1 times something equals uh, this up here. So this has to be 3x. This has to be minus 48. So 3x, I mean 3x squared. And then if I do plus 1 times uh, 3x squared, I get 3x squared. That's what I already want there. So just multiplying those, so therefore nothing else. Uh, if you divide by 3, you get a difference of 2 squares, etc, etc. Right, so I'm looking uh, to show the angle COD is 0.98. I'm going to put on a couple of lengths. Those are 8. I've got this. I've halved that. All right, so that was a diameter. There you go, and those are 8. So I'm going to be using a cosine rule because I'm trying to find this angle here. So cosine of O is equal to 8 squared plus 8 squared minus 7 squared, remember you take away the opposite, over 2 uh, times 8 times 8. Uh, you should be able to work out that that becomes uh, 0.906 um, in radians. Remember, put your calculator in radians mode, makes it a little bit easier. Part B, um, we've got to find the perimeter. So we need to find uh, these angles, that angle and that angle are the same. All right, so theta is going to be equal to 180, which in radians is pi, minus 0 0.906, all over 2. Now, uh, once you've got that, uh, you're going to be doing 2 pi r, aren't you? 2 pi r um, times theta, uh, times what it, this, what you, that you've just worked out, this thing here. All right, uh, and you're going to be dividing that by 2 pi. You find a lot of the pi's cancel. And you should end up with a perimeter. Oh, and don't forget to add on the straight bits, the 16 and the 7. So um, you're going to be finding the arc lengths. So it's arc lengths, okay, plus 23, the 16 and the 7. And I will tell you that that answer is 40.9 to 3 significant figures. All right, part C, we're going to be using a half AB sine C. Okay, uh, to um, that formula at the front, okay, to find the area of the triangle, and then we're going to be doing uh, uh, pi times uh, what is it? Uh, did it here? 8 squared, right? Uh, we've got two of them the same size times uh, whatever it is, a pi minus 0.906 over 2 but it's also going to be over 2 pi okay um, uh, and there you go all right uh, it should be should be fairly straightforward I think that um, all right uh, yep yeah, fine all right geometric series everything's positive some of the first two terms 34 and some to infinity is 162 so what we're going to get first of all is a oops a plus a r that's the first term plus the first term times the uh, ratio is equal to thirty four, and we're going to get the sum to infinity, which out of the formula booklet uh, we're going to get uh, what's that one six two. So I'm I'm going up here because I'm going to need some space a bit later. Now I'm going to have to rearrange to find. I've got to eliminate one of these basically. So I'm going to actually rearrange this one. Right, I'm going to say with that a brackets 1 plus r equals 34. So therefore, um, I'm going to have to go underneath uh, a equals 34 over 1 minus, uh, sorry, 1 plus r. Right, I then am going to substitute this here in for the a here. Right, and I should get a, uh, a value for r which actually, and I'll leave you to work that out, um, r equals, what was it, it was 8 and ninths. Okay, so work it through, it should get 8 ninths. Right now, so that was part A. Part B, find the first term. All right, so we've got a times 1 and 8 ninths. All right, 
equals 34. Solve that, you should get A equals 18. Right, pretty straightforward to be honest. So, there we go. Part 2. It says a different geometric series has first term 42, common ratio of 6, se uh, six sevenths, smallest value for m for which the sum of the first term exceeds 290. So, we're going to be using uh, another one. So, it's this formula here over 1 minus r. And that has to be bigger than 290. Okay, so swap in uh, your A value. A is 42. Um, R is, what was it? It was 6 sevenths, wasn't it? 6 sevenths and uh, work it all through. Now you're going to end up with logs, unfortunately. You're going to end up with something that looks like this. 6 sevenths to the power N should be less than 4 over 294, which I will help you put into logs as it were. So you should end up with N log 6 sevenths is less than log 4 over 294. Um, and you should be able to work the rest of that out.